guys welcome back to my channel my name is Shantel Renee if you are new and if you're returning subscriber hey y'all welcome back to another vlog all right y'all so as y'all can see I am actually in my car and I'm working so if y'all don't know um, and if you are new to my channel let me just go ahead and say I am a mom of four and um, I have a full-time work from home job I also do um, work from home videos as well as other things as well but I just wanted to come in and introduce the vlog y'all it's kind of random but I am so happy because I can actually do my vlogs and things like that while I'm in a car um, if I need to or whatever you know you don't want to do too much while you are driving but anyways I was able to buy this camera mount for my car so that's gonna be so much easier for when I do need to vlog in my car for whatever reason I can do that now um, but I am currently driving as y'all can see I keep on looking back and forth because I do want to keep my eyes on the road of course but yeah y'all um so i am currently driving if y'all don't know which i doubt y'all do because i have never mentioned it before um y'all already know i have a full-time work from home job but that's, i also do some part-time work what i consider my part-time work is i do doordash i also do amazon flex as well um i actually have not done amazon flex in it's been a several it's been several months now um but i have still been doing am um doordash because I like the flexibility of it and also I like the fact that I am local um, I'm pretty sure I just I door dash around my neighborhood and I've been doing that but I actually took a break from it and now I'm picking it back up um, because y'all already know with inflation these bills are kicking our behind everything is going up and we gotta do what we gotta do so um and yeah so let me go ahead and drop off their food i went to panera and i also went to cracker barrel so i have two orders that i need to drop off um i'm not too far i'm like three minutes from my drop off location and yeah so i just wanted to just i guess introduce the vlog or whatever um so I decided to, I actually been doing DoorDash since 2019, but I really didn't start doing it a whole, whole lot until more recently when everything just started to go up. And um, the last couple years I've been doing a little bit more, but when I first started back in 2019, I didn't do it as often. It wasn't as often at all. I just did it whenever I felt like it, <laughs> when I wanted a little extra money. Um, but my situation is a little different. Now, the reason why I decided to do DoorDash or do like these little gig jobs instead of getting a part-time job is because of the flexibility. Y'all already know I am a mom of four, so I need something that's going to be flexible and it's not gonna hurt me if I can't come in and work. That's why I do it. If I, you know, if I could possibly get a part-time job at whatever, a grocery store, retail store, whatever, uh, even fast food. However, I'm not going to have the flexibility that I really, really need. You know, some days I might can't work my two hours. I might have to, I may can't work the hours I plan on working because of whatever reason. Or I might just can't come in because of whatever reason. Or if i'm in a situation where i really don't need to work and i can take a break i can take that break if i'm doing something like these gig jobs so i that's why i do it you know the money may not always be there it just all depends i have in my mind i look how i do it i make sure i'm making some type of money and if it does not make sense i'm not gonna do the order if that makes sense so I, I honestly don't see nothing wrong with it. I know a lot of people say, oh, it's not worth it. You put miles in your car. I have an older car. I have a, a Honda. Um, I don't have a newer Honda. I have an older Honda and I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put miles in a car regardless. I keep up with my maintenance and things like that. So it is what it is. You know, I don't mind doing stuff like this or doing these gig jobs because of the flexibility. That's what I need the most because I already have a full-time job. I just need something to fill in the gaps where I'm lacking at. So I love the flexibility and that's why I continue to do it. 
because that's what I need. I'm a mom and things come up and I need that flexibility, you know? It's been times where I have door dash consistently for like a couple months and then I'll just stop for a couple months and I wouldn't do it no more until I feel like I need to do it again. So that's why I continue to do little gig jobs because of the flexibility. Hopefully one day I can get to a point in my life where I don't have to do it, but I am getting to a point in my life where I am trying to get my finances in order so that I don't have to do this and um, I can just, you know, I can just, um, okay, I just wanna make sure this place was open because it didn't look like it was open, but it says exit only. <laughs> I'm gonna answer it anyways. <laughs> it said exit only. I think I'm at my location. Um, I'm not at my location, let me see. Now I have to look around for the apartment because the GPS took me to that door, but that's not my, that's not the address I need to be at. So now I have to look around to see. Okay, I think I'm getting closer to it. So yeah, this 19661 right there um, I need to go 19651. Oh, and it's right here. All right. That GPS was completely wrong. It took me to the front of the building. But I know how these new, these things do sometimes. So I got my phone. Okay. And he just got... Right back, y'all. All right, y'all. So, got to go back to I got one more delivery, and it's six minutes away. And um, I had went to Panera to get that order. All right guys, so I actually just went ahead and I'm on my last delivery, y'all. I went back to Cracker Barrel. Um, and the good thing is this DoorDash delivery is actually on my way to where I need to go. So it is kind of further. It's not local. I mean, it is still kind of local, but it's, it's, it's gonna take me about 13 minutes to get to my destination. But um, I do have to head over that side of town. So I decided to go ahead and just pick this up. That way I can make some money on the way over there since I have to go over there anyways. So yeah, y'all, I just wanted to go ahead and pick up my camera. I have their order and I'm headed to them now. Um, so, and then I do want to go to, I do need to head over to some stores. It does look like it's gonna rain. But I wanted to go ahead and bring y'all along with me. It's a lot of traffic. And um, yeah, so.
guys so i actually made it into the parking lot of sam's club so um and y'all already seen i already, I already dropped off my last delivery so what i need to do first is i need to make sure i go ahead and get that money deposited in my account because i am going to be using that money to get a few things i need to get out of sam's club um so let me just do that real quick All right, so I went ahead and took care of that. So the money's on the way. The money is on the way to my bank account. Um, so what I am going to do, I'm not getting any groceries, y'all. I don't, as of right now, shopping at Sam's Club with groceries, it seems more ideal because you get that bulk of food and things like that. I, unfortunately, because of my income and the amount that I try to spend when I go grocery shopping, I wouldn't be able to get much if I just shop at sam's club so um i'm not coming to get any food items i'm only coming to sam's club to get some paper towels toilet paper and i'm thinking i may get some of their um their laundry detergent their market what's it called market something y'all it's been a while since i've been to sam's club i actually haven't been in a while because my finances right now, I can't really shop here too often. I wish I could, and I hope one day I will be able to do that. But as of right now, I cannot. I always go to Aldi's because Aldi's is a whole lot more friendlier with my budget that I'm working with when it comes to food. Um, but yeah, I'm just coming here to get paper towels, um, paper towels, toilet paper, and their laundry detergent. I'm gonna show y'all which one I usually get. Um, I like to get, I had stopped getting it um, because of money reasons is the reason why I had stopped getting it. But I really prefer to get the big bulks of the paper towels and things like that because it lasts for like a whole month and I don't have to keep on going into different stores. I'm spending about five, seven dollars for the little pack. And y'all, as y'all know, I have three bathrooms and that's, that's not going to really work. So, but I just wanted to come in and check in with y'all. I'm about to head over there, y'all. It looks like it's gonna rain. Let me show y'all. All right, y'all. So I just wanted to go ahead and show y'all my sand. Y'all, please don't mind my car. I have an older car. Doesn't matter to me. It gets me to where I need to go. But this is a stand that I bought from Amazon. It has a little piece right here. So it allows me to put my camera up. So I actually got that yesterday. And this is my first time using it. So you know I'm hype about that there you go so yeah i only paid twenty dollars so if you think that you need one or whatever you know twenty dollars for that the amazon i used to have my phone this little phone holder over here as y'all can see y'all probably can still see this round piece right there it was on my window but I, I brought it over here so that it's easier for me to have that right here and I can have this right here so when I am vlogging so I just wanted to show y'all that sorry it keeps on going unfocused um as y'all can see I am in the Sam's Club well y'all probably can't see but there's a little sign right there if y'all can see that but yeah I am in the Sam's Club yeah y'all but i am in the sam's club parking lot y'all really couldn't see because i parked further back in the parking lot so but i am in sam's club i'm about to head in there um, like, also the sam's club gas is usually cheaper so i probably stop and get some gas real quick as well so <laughs> Um, I might end up picking me a pizza or something up. 
because it's like what, a dollar, two, two dollars, and fifty cents for a spicy piece and something to drink, then I'm gonna be cutting out. But yeah, it's it's fat. Oh. Must have picked the wrong time to come to fam for there's so many people here. But y'all, yeah, I'm headed to check out now. I'll probably do the scan and go, so I don't have to wait in line. Yeah, we're about to get up out here. Alright y'all, so I'm done. Y'all, I knew it was gonna rain. It looked like it was gonna rain, but it's not raining too hard. I don't know if it happened. It rained hard while I was in there, but I'm glad it wasn't raining hard once I got out the store. Y'all, Sam's Club is so freaking busy. It's it's ridiculous. So I got everything I needed to get. The only thing actually I did get was some water, which that water for that big case was like three dollars some change. So we always need water for the house. So I did grab a thing of water. Um, also ended up getting, oh, and I got the three things I said I needed to get. Um, my total came up to about $66 and some change. And I had some type of $5 Sam's cash. I think that's what it's called. I don't know how I got that on my account, but I just used that, which would bring my do my total down to $61. Also, I haven't really ate anything but some french fries earlier today. So I grabbed one of their pizzas. So I'm about to eat this pizza, drink all my drink. Um, it's 221 right now. I do need to stop by Aldi's just to pick up a couple snacks for this week for the kids. And I think I'm just going to make spaghetti tonight because it's easy, simple, and everybody loves it. So... I am done with my pizza. Also, I'm done with my drink um i'm a little i'm a little tired uh, um and i'm full as well i still need to go to all these just to pick up some things i don't know if i'm going to be able to really show y'all anything in all these because my phone is about dead so i need to go ahead and charge it it is 248 my daughter usually get off around 4 4 30 so i probably have to pick her up soon i also have to pick up the kids um i'm probably going to pick them up soon as well um but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just fill my tank up. That way I'll be good on gas for this week. I'm not all the way. I'm a little over a quarter of a tank. So um, I think it takes about 60 ish dollars to fill me up. We're going to see. Um, but yeah, whenever I come to Sam's Club, which has been a while, I try to get gas from here because it is a little bit cheaper. It's not that much people ahead of me, so I should be heading up there soon. y'all so now that i am done filling my gas um I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to get up on here um it took about 44 dollars for me to fill my tank up like i said i already had gas in the car but i'm actually headed over to all these right now i'm just trying to figure out what is going to be the best way to get over there um honestly don't know Alright guys, as y'all can see, I made it back home. 
um and i just wanted to show y'all real quick what i ended up getting from all these i spent about 39 dollars. i did not get much this time because i was just kind of focused on getting snacks and stuff for my kids for this week for school i got a couple breakfast items and whatever i was missing or lacking for dinner we're gonna end up eating spaghetti but let me just show y'all what i end up getting from all these hey y'all so um i did get some strawberries they like to eat that i like to cut it up for them i end up getting some um sweet peppers as well as some green peppers as well end up getting some great some red grapes this time um the children they like this option sometimes i allow them to get like you know something sweet they can eat for snack along with something else they usually get about two things for snacks so i got this assorted um sandwich cream cookies they like those the last time we got them also got some animal crackers my son he just about ate all of them up and i also end up getting some french toast sticks the original um also some waffles y'all y'all know i always have to end up getting my hazelnut coffee i ran out i, I ran out of those as well as some cherry cheese Danish pastries. They like those. Two things of roasted garlic. Um, roasted garlic tomato sauce or pasta sauce. However you want to call it. Um, I tried these for the first time last time. And the kids really, really like them. Last time they had the strawberries. I decided to go ahead and do the wild berry fruit strip. So this is kind of a, uh, a better option than getting like regular gummies and things like that i usually either let them get this or like some cookies with another type of snack um when for their snack time at school and then also end up getting some spaghetti noodles because like i said we will be eating spaghetti tonight and i did not have none already that is it that is all i end up getting from all these just a quick little haul i purposely only went into all these with my bag I did not get a grocery card because with me, if I would have went in there with a the grocery card, I probably would have came out with a whole basket full of stuff and that was not the goal, okay? <laughs> so it is 341. Like I said, my daughter's probably about to get off work. So I'm going to go ahead and pick her up from work and then I'm just going to go ahead and get the kids from their dads as well after I pick her up from work and then I'll be heading back home. So Hi guys, so I got the kids. I just picked them up from their dads. We're actually headed back home. Y'all have fun with your dads? Yeah. Yes? Yes? Yeah. Y'all ready for school tomorrow? Yeah, yes. Yeah? No. I bought y'all some more of those cookies for lunch and some of those fruit yes, strips sir. again. I mean, not for lunch, for um for breakfast. Look at the graveyard. Look at it. Do you see what I'm talking about? You see how many of them things it is? Oh. That's, uh, that is not six feet. That's what I'm saying. It's a lot. <laughs> we was having a conversation about graveyards, y'all. There's so like a million in there. There's a lot. Bro, that's like the whole entire um, world. <laughs> How yeah, we were just sitting here having a conversation on the way to get them about the graveyards. Oh my, like, really? Is that what we doing? <laughs> Mom? <laughs> what, Carly? Okay. Yes, sir. Really? That's how I know you're still. Get a shirt! What? Get a shirt! Holy, what are you Get dancing shirt. to? Get a shirt! So I made it back home with the kiddos. Dinner is ready, so I'm about to go ahead and make their plates. Some of them are playing upstairs. My daughter Shalia is down here in the living room watching TV. About to make their plates so they can get ready and get settled for school tomorrow.
so as y'all can see, I am in my room now. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and get some editing done. I have my laptop right there. Um, I was actually going to go ahead and also include a little bit more footage for y'all, especially when it comes to um, getting my children ready for bed because they do have school in the morning. Um, my children was able to go ahead and get their clothes out for the week and things like that. But this evening did not turn out as planned. It was very hectic. So the children are in bed. It's about a little after 8.30 right now. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get some editing done, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave me a like. And if you are new to my channel, consider subscribing so you can see future content from me. And y'all, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Hope y'all have a good one. Bye.